Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, Badass Valkyrie, and I will tell you right now, I am recovering or trying to recover from bronchitis, uh, thanks to my lovely, adorable husband. Um, so, yeah, I've got that very low, late night radio DJ voice going on, and so, thanks for listening to the dulcet tones of K99.5. You know, whatever. I always thought it would be kind of cool to be a DJ, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And you have really crappy hours. So, hmm, not going to do that. Uh, first and foremost, I am very excited to say that I reached 500 subscribers. Woohoo! Um, I, I never thought that I would. I, I'm like, I mean, I see all of these people that I follow, like Cindy has got like 35 thousand, you know, people in the millions. And, and I'm just like, woo, I got a hundred. Yay. When I hit a hundred, I was so freaking excited. And then a month later they changed the stupid rules that I can't be monetized and all that kind of crap. But not that it matters really to me because I'm, I'm not really doing this for that. But, um, I was just like, I got there and I was like, Oh, yay. Yay. I got there another change in it again. So, you know, moving that, that goal forward and go forward and go forward. Um, my goal, uh, for 2018 is, was one of, if you guys follow my, uh, my year plan was to get a thousand subscribers and, uh, I hit 500 on Tuesday and I am very excited. Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. And I'm very excited about that. Um, I had just finished a, uh, personal interview for a podcast and, uh, they, they were talking about it and I was like, Oh, let me get you my, my, uh, e or my YouTube address. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I hit 500 subscribers. It's awesome. So I was very excited about that. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. And it means the world to me. Uh, and it means that, you know, I'm doing something right. And I really do appreciate every single one of you that has done this. And, um, I'm, I was this close to doing something for 500, but I didn't have time to plan for it because it kind of just snuck up on me. So, uh, for when I hit 1000, I've, I'm going to do like a big giveaway and a lot of my, st some of my stash will go to that. Um, but, uh, hopefully you guys follow me on, um, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. If not, they're all the way around somewhere. Um, you can find them there, but, uh, I greatly appreciate every single one of you taking your time out of your day just to listen to me ramble, which, you know, I do this just because I think it's fun and, you know, I have no, no big plans to quit my day job, but, um, I do plan on eventually someday creating my own kind of little shop and, and my, my ultimate dream is to own my own coffee shop and stationery store. <laughs> And paper and pour overs uh, for the future planning. Um, and so, uh, you know, this is just a little part of that. And um, when I was doing research for copy shops and find, I, I literally started looking at YouTube because of my best friend, Kelly Kennison, who's an amazing singer, by the way. And she did, um, she was watching beauty channels. And she was like, oh my God, you need to do this for, for your eyeliner and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, what? There are YouTube channels to show you how to do makeup? What? And interestingly enough, a lot of the best makeup tips come from dry queens, which I find adorable because as a big girl growing up in Oklahoma, most of my clothing had seen a drag show way before I did because they're like, girl, you wear a size 12. Let me borrow those shoes or mm, I need to have that jacket. And so weekly drag queens would be going through my closet going, mm, I need that. Ooh, girl, I need that. I need that. I need that. Oh, can I borrow one of your bras? And I'm like, oh, I don't think you're going to even fit in that. But needless to say, I had a very interesting, uh, teenage years and teens and, and 20s and 30s. Um, so, uh, but that's how I found that there was a planner channel or planner community here on YouTube. I had absolutely no idea. And 
I had just always been fascinated with paper and stationery and all that kind of thing. And like going into a stationery store, I always called it a stuff store. It's like, oh, all the stuff that I love. It's, I, I never knew that there were other people out there like me. And, you know, I've been planning since I was a kid and, you know, doing like Rolodex and, and Filofax and Franklin Covey and all of that kind of thing. And I always had lists. List makers got a list. And I am a habitual data tracker. I'm telling you right now, this little sucker does not come off of my arm until I'm actually in bed and there's not another possible step that I could possibly take. And the first thing I do in the morning, put it on so that I'm like, ooh, every, every move, everything has got to be counted. And uh, I'm actually working on an article right now for... Uh, Carrie Harling's um, uh, paper planning, uh, uh, I guess it's an online blog uh, or online magazine about paper planning, um, but I'm going to submit that about tracking, uh, being a uh, compulsive data tracker and what that does to your planning. Um, and then you guys will see that here in a few minutes of all of my insanity that's in here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, there's a lot of different things that I've, I'm really want, want, wanting to try and, uh, just hitting 500, um, just really kind of gave me a little boom when I really, really, really needed it. Um, I don't know, most of you may not have any clue as, um, I actually had to back out of Italy. Um, my husband is going through surgery, um, not this coming Monday, but April 9th, um, for his back. And so, uh, I made the decision, uh, to go ahead and not compete for a spot on the USA women's team for 2018, um, and jump forward. I was already going to retire at the end of May, uh, after the world championship. And so this will be the first champ world championship in five years that I will not be at and it's going to kill me. But I, I had to do that for my family and be here for my husband. And I have no qualms doing that. It, I know it, in my heart, it was the total right thing to do. And, uh, so we will be getting him taken care of so that he is no longer in pain. And, um, and then he and I will go see Italy together. <laughs> and so I'm very excited about that. Um, so, uh, so things have kind of changed up a little bit and hitting 500 really brightened my week and it's been a really good day and uh, I was very excited about that. So again, I know this is a long story longer. That's the story of my life, but thank you very much for that. Um, today I really wanted to go through and show you how I've set up my Maverick Personal, which I love. Um, this little boy is in my, um, in my handbag. I carry him, my Nano, and my, uh, hope in two weeks. That, because this is the new, um, Chic Sparrow, they increased it to seven and a half, I believe. It, the, the weeks just kind of peeks out over the top, just kind of like that. And so I had been, um, putting the weeks in this, but... Then I went crazy and got a whole bunch of 1407 planner inserts on their grab bags. 15 in, I mean, you get five inserts, a vinyl cover, and um, a couple of dashboards. Um, and it was $8.95, so I bought three. I think I actually bought out all the ones that they had. Um, and so I got a bunch of different inserts to try. And then one of them was a sampler, and so I'll show you how I'm using that in here. But... Um, so my Dr. Jones goes in my, my bag that I carry to work with my Hobonichi uh, cousin of Beck, my bullet journal and anything else that I need for the day for work. Um, and, uh, I will be going through what's in my bag, uh, in my belt, in my Delphonics bag. I am, not only do I love Chic Sparrow like crazy, I also have a minor problem with Delphonics bags. Just a little bit of a problem. I don't find it a problem, but my husband likes to say, if it's something that you put something else in, 
you've got a million of them, and I do. I, I love little boxes. I love bags. I love bags that go in bags. And so if there's a little pocket, there's like a little bag that goes in that little pocket. And so I will be going through that soon. Um, I'm just not ready yet to film that because I'm like, oh, it's just not right yet. It's just not right. I, I, so it's, it's relatively new. I just got the, the biggest, the large Delphonics bag. So probably in a couple of weeks, you'll, will, you will see that. Um, and then you will totally see all my crazy. So, um, but right now with my weeks, I actually have it in, this is actually a, uh, RFID, um, case and I, I, I will link it down below cause I can't remember the name of it and it only has that little thing on it. So I wrote it down, but it just kind of goes like that. And so it protects it until I have my new cover that's coming, which is not a Chic Sparrow. I know. I'm just going to take a minute so that you can catch your breath. But it is a, a painted uh, cover design um, that I have. That I saw I saw a version of it um, on, in the Buy, Sell, Trade group. And it's wonderful. I'm so excited. So I have that on order. So, uh, so my weeks will get its own little... Wonder Woman cover, and I cannot wait to get it in. It looks so awesome. So, at least the one that I saw, and so she's going to do the same design because I asked. I'm like, can I, can, can you do this in a week's? And she's like, yeah, I can do that. I'm like, ah! So, I'm very excited for that. Um, what else am I working on? Uh, I'm starting my, uh, my Artemis costume for Dragon Con. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm also a cosplayer. And uh, I am going to be trying to do an Artemis costume out of the original Wonder Woman uh, movie from 2017 with Gal Gadot. Um, but Artemis was Anne Wolf. Uh, she's the older uh, African American female boxer, and she's just like stout and fierce and amazing, and over 50. And so. I didn't feel like I could compete with all the other Amazons, but I'm like, I could do that. I could do that costume and not feel out of place. Like it was either, you know, the queen or Artemis and, uh, I'm not nearly thin enough to do Robin Wright. <laughs> so, um, but I, I'm, I'm very excited to try to do that costume and I've got, I've just been collecting all the things that I needed to start doing that. And so I've been working in the design portion of it in my head and uh, I'm very much a Zen sewer so or seamstress so um, I just kind of figure it out and go from there so I'll, I'm sure that I will update you guys on that as well um, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and do a flip through through my personal Maverick Golden Maverick um, deluxe from Chic Sparrow so let's turn this around and go through this little bad boy Okay, thanks for um, bearing with me there for a minute. And I thought that I would show you uh, Live the Life you, You've Imagined with my little Create button there. And then I have, this is the first one that I've actually put one of my wings on. Uh, I have uh, a collection of wing charms that I have carried with me on the field every time I've competed at a world championship. And I have them in a little pouch. And when someone inspires me or um, I see a fighter that has, or a female fighter that has um, done something amazing, uh, I take one of the wings off, uh, and I'm usually wearing it on a bracelet, um, and I take one of the wings off and give them one of my Valkyrie ring wings in appreciation and to let them know that I think that they're amazing. And so it took me a while to realize that, um, a place for my wing. And so I went through and I chose my favorite one and I just felt right putting it on the Maverick. And so, uh, I'm sure that I will probably pick another one for my, uh, Poppy when I start doing the the journal that's cataloging my fighting experience, which I am still going to do, even though I'm not going to Italy. Um, but I'm actually going to do a, um, I'm going to send it over, send a 
one of the inserts over with um, one of the girls, one of the female fighters, and see if she can get some things uh, written in it for me. So hopefully I can get that done. Anyway, let's go ahead and break into this. So this is the Golden Maverick that I got from the Maverick pre-sale from Chic Sparrow. This is in the Deluxe, and it does have um, my Badass Valkyrie um, emblazoned on it. And in here, I just have some uh, little arrow post-it notes um, just to help me when I need to remember something. It's got my personal business cards for the Badass Valkyrie. Um, these are my favorite um, uh, post-its. I love how they look in a book, um, any any of the things that I'm using. And so when I saw these, I bought like 25 of these. And I paid 25 cents a pack for them. So uh, I just keep them in there. I've got some different stickers from uh, Creative Tidbits, um, a sampler from Once More With Love, a sampler from Red, Fa Red Fawn Designs, and then my actual business cards from work. And as I said, I have said before, every one of my uh, Traveler's Own books has a Death Wish sticker somewhere. Um, this is an insert that had these stickers. If you saw my walkthrough uh, or my opening of my Le Mom, uh notebooks that I won as a prize, you saw that these were in uh, those bullet journals. And I don't want to break into that bullet journal yet because I, I want to have, you know, I want to, it's going to be my next one, but... Um, I don't know when I'm going to be breaking into that. So I wanted to use these stickers because they're, I mean, for 2018. I love them. And they had these little tabs on them. But I didn't want tabs sticking out in this small of a notebook. So what I did is, this is uh, January, February, and March. January, February, and March. Um, for the first quarter. Because I'm going to start these inserts in April. Um, and this is just a little bookmark that I have in there. So what I did is I cut these off. And put the uh, month sticker in. This is a month at a glance. And it's got, I want to say, 15 months in it. And so you have month at a glance. And you've got your top three things. Your appointments and birthdays, goals, monthly wrap up. You can put your business expenses, all of that in here. And so what I've done is on each of the months, I just kind of went down the line and put like a little mark. So you can kind of see where they are in the different color scheme. And then um, when I ran out of 2018, I just, um, I actually took off the tabs for uh, January, February, and March and used them for January, February, and March for 2019 because those didn't have the year on them. So anyway, so that's the monthly, month at a glance insert from 1407 planners. And then this has, um, this came as one of the um, freebies from 1407 sale. And then the Coffee Monsters Co., their sampler, and a, a little sticker from Creative Tidbits um, and their business card. And then this is, a, this is their, um, this is the 1407 sampler. And so it has all these different pages of various inserts. And I'm like, well, that's awesome, but I don't know really what to do that. So what I've decided to do, because I want to try a lot of these different inserts, so I just put um, some stickers, and I used these, um, their Heidi Swap uh, monthly sticker planner, planner sticker kits, and um, so these stickers came with it. Obviously, you can tell that I was not, I was trying to be precise, but yeah, I kind of got a little catawampus. But, um, so this is April, and what I've decided in this is I'm just going to use this for the month of April and see what, what happens with it. Um... This was a today schedule, and what I'm going to do here is do my ideal work week day here and try to figure that out, and what I typically do during these time frames, and then put some notes to here as far as what I do during the week for training and that kind of thing. And then here is a cleaning tracker, which was, it had week there, and I'm like, seriously? There's no way in hell I'm doing all of this in a week. So, for the month, which is much more my speed, I just covered up the week with the sticky. And I'll go through and I'll write down what I get done in all of these areas for the month of April. And then this had, um, this had January in it. 
And so I just covered that up so I could write on that. And then um, I'm just going to do a line per day for the month of April. I've still got to go and write April in there. But just kind of like a one-line journal. And, <coughs> excuse me, this is a meal plan. And here, you know, typically the meal planner insert would have all of, you know, several of these. But what I'm going to do is just put all the Mondays in for April as I go. So I'll do the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, and then just add the shopping list. And then I decided that I'm going to try this kind of a tracker out. I've not used this kind of a, a daily tracker. I tried to draw this out in my bullet journal once and started using Copic markers to blot these in. And those suckers bled through like crazy, made me hate the Copic markers. So I decided I was going to give this another try for the month of April. And this is all stuff that I normally write in my Hobonichi. But I'm getting to the point where it's kind of annoying me there. And so I, I want, these are the things that I really, really want to focus on. And so since I'm keeping it in my handbag with me, hopefully that I can, you know, kind of go back to basics. April is going to be a go back to basics kind of month for me. And I'll explain that more when I go and do a, a my walkthrough for April in my Hobonichi. But so I'm going to try that. I'm doing... Uh, 90 ounces of water per day, any sort of exercise at all per day, um, whether it's, you know, three sets of 25 squats in the mornings or, you know, whatever I'm going to do. Um, normally I track 1100 or 11,500 steps per day, but as I've been sick again, this, this last week and a half, um, I've not even gotten up to 10 K. And so, which is very, very rare for me. But, um, so I'm dropping it back down to 10 K again and, and tracking it here. I'm still tracking my actual steps, but, um, in my Hobonichi per day, but I want to just make sure that I actually hit 10 K a day. And then I try to do 130 active minutes per day. Again, that's what my watch tracks. And then 20 minutes of cleaning when I get home first thing, whether it's home from work or home from the gym, then uh, I want to start tracking my AM skincare and PM skincare when I'm doing what. And I have a specific routine for both of these. And, you know, who knows, maybe someday I'll go through what that is. But, um, and then also going to bed. I'm, I've been tracking going to bed by 11. I want to try to push that and go get, try to get to bed by 1030 and see if I can do it. And then this is just a to-do list for the April month. And I figured I would carry that over to this side because I tend to have a lot of to-dos. And this is for the, the bills for the month. And they had, I think, August, or no, it looks like July. So obviously they just take pages from this it's just to show you a sampler. But I still wanted to use it. So I just kind of whited out those months. And then I can just put, um, you know, what I need to do on certain days. And... I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to use this one yet. I may s separate this into something. I'm not sure. But at least it's a little bit more usable now than it was with the dates on it. And again, with this, we have this week. And it's got um, uh, a master list. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then this was, uh, I'm not sure. I can't read what it was. But um, I just figured I would use this for notes. And, you know, I went ahead and left the date if I wanted to. But, you know, I may end up taking that out. I have no clue. Again, another weekly spread. Um, again, not sure what I'm going to use these for yet. But, you know, I, I might actually have enough. Let me see. Because in April, there's one, two, three, four weeks. So that's one, two, three. I don't think there's another week. Although I could still make this a week four. I could get away with doing four different weekly plans. So I might actually do that. We'll see. And then this has passwords. I never, ever, ever write passwords in my, in my planners. It's just never a good idea. And my husband is a tech... Um, 
a computer tech and he would kill me. So I don't even put pants. So what I'll probably do is um, mark that out and use this for a spending tracker along with this because I am sure given what my past months are, this is not going to be enough. So we'll see. Then I'll probably use that for the fourth week. And then, oh, this is a purchase tracker. This is just a spending tracker. Purchase tracker, spending tracker. They'll, they will all probably be, one might just be my Amazon purchases or my Etsy purchases. We'll see how that works out. Um, and then uh, their check register and then a reading log. And that's it. So I wanted to use that and to see how those different layouts work to see what I liked. And so I'm like, all right. And so this is just a uh, craft folder that I picked up on Amazon and one of the Chic Sparrow uh, uh, feathers um, in my insurance card. This also came in the um, 1407 um, bundles that were bargain bags and you got five inserts excuse me one second <coughs> oh sorry about that and then you've got vinyl covers i got two of the fox and one was a winter one and what i did is this is actually just a cheap uh monthly calendar that i had and so it had like a beach scene but i just cut this down because I would not ever use it for like a TN or anything, but it, it made a cute dashboard. And so I'm like, oh. And then uh, I cut off the back of it. And I don't have it in here, but it had like a little mouse. And so there's the, the 1407 uh, Flamingo Fiona. And so this is um, one of my uh, spare Hobonichi uh, Shitaji keys. And this is, I'm doing some meal tracking. This is just a list that I can rip out for um, groceries or anything like that, just to just a quick jot down what I need. And then, uh, and this is just some of the um, simply simple cards that you can um, just write things down. I just tuck those in there. And then this is their um, weekend, or it was a daily planner, like a daily, uh, hourly planner. What I've decided to do is track my weekends in this. I love the cover though. And so I've done weekends from March 31st to July 8th. And I don't usually do time tracking on my weekends, but I, I kind of want to see where I, what I do and how it goes. And I thought, all right, this is, this would be a good place to do that. And, and just then I could just put some notes in here about my weekend. So and it's just something that I could focus on a little bit more for, for the, while I had this and see how my weekends go. So since they're not as fight centric anymore, um, I'm like, we'll just give it a shot. And then this, I just have tucked in the back cause there's not an, I don't want to, I don't like the way, um, in the personal, uh, jump banding works with these because they're a little bit thicker. So this one is just notes, which is perfect. And because of the, how the pen loop sits, it actually just keeps it in there really nice and tight. And so it actually works great, especially when I have my Lamy on there. So that is it. I didn't have anything in the back pocket yet. Um, but as I said, I did have, I was keeping my weeks in here and I actually had it um, kind of in the middle, but um but with the inserts, it doesn't quite work anymore. So that's why I just put the notes in here. And it works great. And you just put the band back on. And everything stays wonderful. So that is my uh, personal and Maverick. Uh, the Golden Maverick leather. Uh, the Personal Deluxe from Chic Sparrow and the 1407 inserts and my Lamy Safari or All Star. No, that's a Safari. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you guys use the 1407 um, planner inserts, let me know below and let me know what your favorites are. Um, 
and if there are any inserts that for the personal that you might recommend because um, I would like to start figuring out what I want to keep in this um, versus what I want to keep in my Dr. Jones. And so trying out a bunch of different inserts is going to give me a lot more uh, range of things to keep track of. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, again, sorry about my scratchy voice, but um, hopefully I will be getting better soon. Um, if not, I'm going to scream because I hate having such a, a harsh, scratchy voice and it hurts when I cough. So anyway, you, uh, if you have not subscribed, please do um, give this a thumbs up if you would like, and I would greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you to the 500 subscribers that have got me to this first um, significant point in my YouTube creator life because um, without you, I I would be talking to no one. And uh, I really, really appreciate all the support that you give me. And all the comments are always wonderful. And I love doing this because it's just fun. So have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.